So in the exam, if question comes that you design a DFA for a given language, then what is the approach you should take? So the approach is first, so let me write it down. So approach to design a DFA, DFA for a given language. So two steps, it is a two step method. So first you create a state transition diagram for the problem. And then create the five tuple things. Five tuple DFA. from the diagram okay we'll see how to solve this in the in a given question so so let us now try to solve one of the question that has been asked in the previous year that is the question is let me write it in a printed way so the question is Question is create a DFA which accepts strings ending with two zeros. Assume the alphabet set is zero comma one okay so how will we solve this problem so so the first uh, first thing I need to take is I need to create I need to do is I need to create a state transition diagram so so initially suppose I assume that the state the DFA is in state Q0 starting state Q0 okay now suppose one uh, suppose a string of zeros and ones come okay so as soon as it get the first zero so it is an arrow with a level zero it goes to state q1 and as soon as it get so the next zero so it should end with uh, two zeros so so the so the first string i should it should accept the dfa should accept is zero zero okay so the first zero it goes to q1 and with the second zero it goes to q2 Okay, and Q2 should be the final state because it has to accept 0, 0. Now, let us see what happens if 1 comes in between. So, suppose in the it is in the starting state and it gets a 1, then what it should do? It should remain in Q0. Okay, now suppose I have got 1, 0. Suppose the string is like 0, 1, 0. Suppose I, I, I got, uh, suppose the string is just 0, 1. Zero, one. So if, uh, so the, for the first zero, I make a transition from Q0 to Q1, but after that from Q1, so it should reject the string 0, 1. So it should go to Q0. Understood? Why it should go to Q0? Because after 0, 1, it may happen 0, 0 may come. Okay. So, 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 so it should go back to Q0 because it has to reset the state and it, it has to start again to see whether I have uh, zeros in the suffix string okay as suffix string zero zero as the suffix string similarly when I am at Q2 that means I have already got two zeros and the input string is not yet completed scanning of the input string is not yet completed then what I should do so if I get another zero that means so suppose zero 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 then also it satisfies the language because it has two ending zeros. So it should remain in state Q2 if the if it gets the input symbol 0. But if it gets a input symbol 1, then what, what it should do? So 0, 0, suppose 0, 0, 1. Then it should again go back to the starting state and should scan again. Understood? <coughs> because 
because it has to again scan suppose the string is 0 0 1 0 0 then it has to again go back first it has to go back to the starting state q0 after scanning one then with uh, with the next zero it will go to q1 and with the next zero it will go to q2 and accept the string so it has to accept 0 0 okay 1 0 0 suppose 0 1 0 0 and 0 0 1 0 0 okay so 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 this kind of strings it has to accept so in this way we created first a state transition diagram then the next step is to convert the state transition diagram into five tuple thing okay so how will i do that so let me first draw first copy the state transition diagram so so it is in q0 q0 is the starting state with zero it go to q1 then again with zero it go to q2 okay and it, it should accept it as a final state now for the rest of the symbols suppose i in q0 if i get a one i should remain in q0 in q1 if i get a one i should go to q0 back and uh, and in q2 if i get a q uh, uh, if uh, if i get a if in q2 if i get a zero then i should remain in q2 and for one i should go back to q0 okay so suppose so mathematically i can say that this dfa will be uh, it has a name m and it is a five tuple okay of q sigma delta q0 and f okay so what is my q then so q is nothing but q0 q1 q2 okay what is my sigma that is the alphabet set it is already given that is 0 and 1 what is my starting state so q0 is q0 here and what is my final state so f is nothing but q2 understood now the next task is to write the transition functions so i should write like this so delta of q0 it is because it's a mapping of what now a set of states and the alphabet set so q0 comma 0 is what q1 similarly delta of q0 comma 1 is q0 delta of q0 now q1 comma 0 is q2 and delta of q1 comma 1 is q0 similarly delta of q2 comma 0 what happens it remains in q2 okay and accept the string and delta of q2 comma 1 is q0 so this completes the answer okay so in the exam if any design problem comes related to a dfa that accepts a given language you first can create a state transition diagram to accept the all the strings of a language and then you from that state transition diagram you create this five tuple okay okay then. <coughs>